Okay, hi, welcome, welcome back to Small Grand Theft Auto 5. What did we do last time? Why have I forgotten? We... No, wait, we did the Polito school, we robbed the bank, which actually went pretty well. We are on the beaches Trevor right now. Um, here we are, and we're getting a call. Hello. Townley's on the line too. Hey, Trev. All right. I need your whole crew over at Cape Catfish. We're moving on the chemical weapons plant. Nah, 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 nah. I just gave something to Lester. I need to deal with some stuff, get back to Los Santos. Just, uh, give me a week. We got the equipment with your Polito money. The gangbanger's already on the way. The window's open, my friend, and you are jumping out of it. Shit. Shit! Los Santos ain't going anywhere, bud. His family might be there. Okay, where is this mission? Where is this mission? Federal Investigation Bureau. Oh, that's pretty far. Do I feel like driving seven kilometers? No, I do not feel like driving that. Okay, well, I'll get up to the main road with this and then I'll just get a taxi. You guys don't want to see me drive anyway, so. It's a win-win. I get there quick. No radio, please. And you guys don't have to sit through the pain of me driving. <laughs> Believe it or not, I need a cab. Stay where you are. I got a driver right around the corner. I'm glad to hear it. I do want to go. Oh, gone away, Trevor. <laughs> I do want to go and see about other um, hairstyles for Trevor, but I'm, I like my. I love the way Michael looks. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but it's giving Trevor a taxi. It's giving Dr. Strange and I'm woohoo. So I will be keeping Michael's, but Trevor and Franklin, I'm open to changing. Well, no, because I like Franklin's too. Ooh. Hello. Michael! Yes, Michael. Up, What's going on, ladies? Hmm? Hello, Trevor. What kept you? Business, Michael. Business. Uh, All right. I'm the CEO of a big international corporation. It's very time-consuming. Nothing, of course, you'd understand, being a gentleman of leisure. Uh, you know, you know, Franklin. <laughs> if there's one thing that you're Franklin's rich. Complete fucking insanity. Then they can't fry you. If you want something done, go to the busy man. This rich fuck is useless. Oh, uh, ho, ho, hold on, man. Can y'all knock this shit off? Oh, look! Boys, your boys, it's the feds. Hey, where's the other three? What other three? We told you to bring along six. This is a six-man job. No, you didn't. You Dave did? No, Dave didn't. You said you'd do it. That is a freaking lie. <laughs> I do not get things wrong. All right, great. Then we're out of here. Uh, uh, Fuck uh, uh, it. Let's go. You three can do it alone. And die. It's a six-man job. You do your own dirty work. Hey, I do my dirty work every day, keeping the country safe from scum like you. And you're doing a great job, sir. Hey, you want this job done? Then come with us, huh? Come on, come on, Mister Leisure Wear, Mister Depressed Accountant. Let's go save America. Who the fuck are we saving it from this time? <laughs> this is the real deal. My sources are convinced there's a plot in international affairs, you know, the agency, and they're using this facility to make a serious nerve toxin. Ah, <laughs> bullshit. Yeah, which they plan in their mind-blowing insanity to let a major terrorist release on a metropolitan area so they can continue to get funding. Nothing increases funding for fighting terrorism more than successful acts of terrorism. <laughs> all, right, so, so, all right, so let me get this straight then. No, 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 there is no getting it straight, that's the point. Now we're doing this! You two are on getaway. Fuck off and make it happen. But this... Michael, you're with us! What Five. size flipper you wear? We're still missing one. I never knew how ripped Franklin was. Wow, okay. Agent Norton, been a while since you were in the field. The sight of you in neoprene is something we save for our worst enemies. Shut up, I'll be fine. And you, get in. 
You're driving. Follow the coast. Yeah, because I'll do all the dirty work. Navigate down the coastline. Listen to me, Steve. Oh. No wisecracks, got it? No fucking cliches. We're fighting for the freedom of the people today. Don't lecture me on patriotism. You've been living outside the system too long. Social responsibilities, a joke to you. So maybe I redeem myself, get killed in the process, huh? That old bullshit. No one is dying on my watch. Not even the burnout bank robber with temper issues and nothing <laughs> to live for. A hero's death is too good for you. You'll die in the ignominy you deserve. Oh, thank God. Fate shall carry me safe through these selfless acts of charity. This is the bay. We can get in through the discharge tunnel. Here it goes. Uh, it's swimming again. That was really underwhelming, the diving. Won't lie. Damn, fine, just leave without me, jeez. I'm amazed at this game though, like truly I am. Cause games like this aren't really made anymore. Either you have um, open world or like underworld. Be a great over the underworld, Tell me, water. The cutter. When we get there, go to work punching through. Roger that. Oh god. Okay. Using the oxy hydro cutter on the grill. That's burning and over Hold on and to. Oh degrees. wait, no. Yeah, Whoops. thanks for the science lesson. Can I keep this for the next vault I hit? You've got a limited supply of gas in the cutter, so get this right. Can confirm not getting this right. So, you got any more little facts oh. from the instruction manual? Oh my god. the equipment we source using your hard won funds. Ha, I figured it was all gonna go on a wardrobe full of windbreakers. What oh, the hell? Maybe some nipple clamps. Oh my god. Well, I really messed this up. I thought I just had to drag it along. Ah, this is really tricky. Ah, I'm wasting so much of it. God, is he gonna have any more oxygen in his tank after this? Jeez. Ah! Oh my gosh. I'm not happy. One more. Okay. That should do it. Oh. You did okay the problem with this job is i only get to know the criminals who are dumb enough to get themselves caught yeah only i wasn't caught remember i turned myself in he makes a point that makes you doubly dumb doubly dumb <laughs> it is so weird though because what i was saying like this that like the underwater part Final and Nearly there. the land part seems to be in the same like realm compared to like horizon forbidden That's west where take it up to the surface people i'm pretty sure that um horizon forbidden west and the water part are two separate worlds if that makes sense like it's not it is obviously seamless when you transition to them but not like this is I don't know if there's just like a longer loading time or what, I'm not 100% sure. But you kind of have this freeze moment in Horizon Forbidden West when you go underneath water. Uh, oh, okay. Huh? We ready? I was born ready. Let's do this. Come on, Dave. 
What's the plan? Hey, hey, hey. We locate the toxin and action our escape strategy. That's what we got. Great. Lead the way. They'd feel Great so grass. heavy Such after this. Hands up, you. Now. Against the wall, quick. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's time this guy went to sleep, Michael. Ah. Hands where I can see him. Drop your piece. Hey, how'd you get down here? Spark him up, Michael. You're not clear for live ammo. Oh yeah, because they don't okay. want to do it, can they? Yeah, it's me that would have to do it. They don't want to get their hands dirty. Elevator's coming down. Someone's on board. Out, out, out! Easy now, easy now. Please, don't! You got clearance, give it up! Please don't hurt me! Give up your access card! Use a stun gun? Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Right, go. I just shot the other dude. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, if only your camera crew was here. Round to the right. Come on. I thought We're it was fine. just a normal gun. They You're wanted right, me to stun the guy, not kill him. Okay. That isn't great news. <laughs> I said keep things covert. They're down. Let's go. Along here to the left. So it has quite a long reloading this time. Is wall. Security is scheduled to come through here. Oh, through there. They're on us. Make a judgment call. I dare you. Clear. We move forward. Use the card on that swiper. Exit. Lab right in the cage up ahead should have the secret sauce. Come on. Open the door. Who are you people? He's got the locking system overridden from in there. What's that? <sighs> I got this. Oh, sorry. What are you doing? his very large brain smitter on the glass open up the special agents have the door go in there and okay. secure our nerve agents over there oh, oh my gosh this will make me the most dangerous man in the country i'm also the most shit scared oh man <laughs> thank you federal government put the humanitarians to sleep michael <laughs> The toxin is volatile. We need to get it into a refrigeration unit. Facility security has been compromised. Warning, warning. You got the right weapon? The shit's about to get real. I don't like his special ability. I won't lie. Well, I do, but... I don't know. Come on, push through. He does have a surprise for his gun. When Michael takes a bullet to the test tube. Ah! Come on! Poke your, your head out! One of you. Thank you. Let's go! Where's he? Oh wait, I didn't I just get you? Very confused. Another guard, poor bastard. Do it, let's go. Left up here, push for the exit. Along here, to the left. <gasps> Don't shoot me. I'm Oh my 
my god, test animals. Let's get out of here. What is going on? They're in my hiding place. Test monkeys. Go to hell. Can we release them? I want to release them. Sorry. I for some reason think he's invincible. He's- I don't know why. I'm just like, nah, he'll be fine. That kid? That's a bit harsh. <gasps> Fair state kit. I'm sorry. He's running slower in this park. Oh, that was a whole the like, guy. Oh. Okay. It's a grim business. You fucked with the wrong. The wrong what? Sorry. In the refrigeration unit. It's over in that container. Come on. Sorry, were you saying something? This was the worst one. Well, I'm sorry, there's a bunch of red smoke everywhere. I don't think I am. We missed the window. Eight God. Eight six, teams already in the building. It's never too late. We're going. Let's go. It's too risky, Bandito. That bird goes down and takes half the West Coast with it. You know what? If you're done puking up excuses, how about we come up with a solution? Okay, okay. All right, yeah, you go. I'll stay in cover. Fuck it. Fine by me. And the dead bodies? I'm lucky I'm not one of them. Come on. Let's go. I don't trust... 
Oh, FIV, special agent, I got this covered. Detain this man. Fuck you, I should detain you. I just took a bullet for my country. Go, go, go. Pull us up. What happened back there? Where's Agent Haynes? Don't tell me we suffered casualties. Only self-inflicted ones. Fucking guy shot himself so he could pass as a double agent. Ah, well, maybe they'll debrief him with a 12-inch aluminum flashlight. Haynes took the easy way out. We're the ones hoping we'll outrun the agency response team. Oh I my think God. Franklin's the one taking the easy way. Guy's got his feet up in an aircraft hangar. Look, let's just get to the airport so we can finish this bullshit. When you drop us, I'll take the nerve agent. Mr. Phillips. Can I trust you to dispose of the chopper? I got more important things to worry about messing around with this stupid chopper. Like things that actually mean something. Not made up wars, but made up enemies. Matters of the heart. Is he fucking with me? Probably not. Trevor, do you ever really know? No, no, do not do this. Do not do this. This is impossible. That's an improvement in flying, if you ask me. So chemical weapon in there, right? At least from the if first time. A chemical weapon, hell, it could be shaving cream for all I know. By the way, next time you're getting wet. <laughs> oh, but there won't be a next time, will there, Davy? There never is. I'll do my best for you. I always try. Yeah, well, maybe this time we'll get lucky. Maybe this time Steve will succumb to the strains of enhanced interrogation techniques. Interrogate him? Are you insane? They're probably decorating him right now. Hey, Davey, your boys at the agency are on to you, remember? Ah, you and Stevie. Just try and keep your heads down. Yeah, putz. What is this? Oh, fucking A. Yes! What's up, man? My days in the wilderness are over. Lester, he settled up with that crazy Mexican motherfucker. Gave him the artifact. <laughs> now, as long as Trevor handles the wife, we're good. But what about him, man? Yeah, fuck him. He likes the <laughs> desert. Besides, we do one big score, we're all gonna have to go our own separate ways anyway. Oh, man. I can't wait to get back to that movie studio. Is it gonna be like a repeat from the beginning? Yeah, right, well, shit, I'll let you later then, all right? The way it ends is the way it started. Shit. I'll tell you what, you could take this desert and stick it. My life may be a world of pain, but from here on out, it's gonna be cool, comfortable, air-conditioned pain. <laughs> Take it easy. I had a wonderful time, Trevor. Trevor's mad. We both know. I made a vow to my husband. <laughs> Trevor! Pain inside you, but you are a beautiful man. I've never been so happy, so sad in my life. You'll you get over it, babe. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Everyone I love abandons me. I am not abandoning you. I am going home. Treat you. I know. I know. It's kind of sad, but it's whatever. Shouldn't have stolen her, stolen her treasure. Trevor, gosh, what happened to um? Oh my god, I keep forgetting his name. Was that Simon, the blonde guy? What happened to his like the woman? Wasn't Trevor all over her a few minutes ago? Why... Why the sudden change of heart, Trevor? What happened to her? Hey, here we are. Home sweet home. 
It was lovely having you. Um. Bye bye. Sorry for sealing you. No. Stay. You better treat her right, man! I will, amigo! Otherwise... The other ear! Of course! The way I see things, you and me and Michael, we're, we're friends now. Good friends. Such good friends that we will make a great effort to avoid one another. That's fucking perfect. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I thank Michael for this statue. It is exquisite. Yeah. Yeah, I will. Oh, I could have sent. Oh my gosh, I was one out from getting the stunner and headshots. I would have got 100%, I think, if I did that. That's so frustrating. What? Ooh. Traver. Do I drive? Oh, I might drive this. I don't know. Yeah, let's just drive it. I wonder if it's going to be another one with Wade because it's at the, the apartment. So... Pardon? What the f are you doing here? That's a funny way to greet your cousin. You ain't my g-damn cousin, Trevor. I thought we was family. But please, just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. Who the f is that boy? No one, my sweet. Hey, by any chance, did you catch crabs at that conference? <laughs> I heard that those conferences are regular little fuck fest, huh? Guy, come in. I'd like you to leave mm. right now. Oh, yeah. Some serious corporate gangbanging going on, right? Yeah. With every executive and director of communications from here to Bangalore taking it left, right, and center in the name of team training, right? I mean, now that's what Floyd told me yesterday as he was staring at my, uh, my penis. I want you to leave. Look, this is all I've got, all right? I had a tough upbringing. My daddy was not nice to me. I can okay? tell, Trevor. Now look, Deborah, I love you, and I love you too, Floyd. Why can't we all just be together, huh? You can have Mondays through Thursdays. You can have the weekends, all right? I know that's not normal, but in this crazy, crazy world, Trevor, it's so good, huh? Honey, what are you look, on about? Deborah, Floyd, will you marry me? Get out of my condo! And you go too, Floyd! I told you! I've got a career! I don't need this! 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 Crap! Yes! There. <laughs> you made me swear. You're crap, Floyd! Why are you going with Floyd? <laughs> You're not a man at all. <laughs> Bob's right about you. Oh, who's Bob? I want both of you to go now. You and your weird friend. Whoa, this is not my friend. Hey. My name is Trevor, sweetheart. I could give a fuck what your fucking name is. I'm not afraid to use this. I'm not. Bob taught me. Fuck Bob. You people are not very fucking nice. Trevor. <laughs> oh. mm, hey there, Wade. Did you meet Deborah? Mm, interesting lady. I should probably go say hi. I would. Why not? Let's go get in the car. All right. Let's go have the time of our lives. I know just the place. I know this game is like satire and everything, and you're not supposed to take it too seriously, but 
I don't like that. I could run in and get Floyd and Gebra. I know she seems kind of uptight, but we can have fun. Mmm, no. I don't think she can, Wade. Just Floyd then? Floyd's gonna meet us there. Floyd's trip? Exactly. Oh, Trevor, maybe you got all over yourself. You're all red. You got, you got syrup? Yeah. Syrup. Accidents. We've all been there. We sure have, but... But it don't taste like syrup. Don't taste me, all right? Just no licking. Okay. Oh my god. Hey, you remember it's pulling a corner. Sure. Last year, I was on the way to the gathering with Daisy Bell and Kush Tronic and... And you stopped in Sandy Shores to get lit and you met a dealer and he looked after you when your friends had abandoned you. That was weird, weren't it? The last time I saw him, it was with you driving out to a quarry, and then they just dis just He's disappeared. Poof, right? I mean, they were gone. Some friends, right? And now Cousin Deborah don't want you around. I mean, there's a pattern here. The Congo did get messy. The pattern is you can't rely on anyone, anyone except me. God, kill his friends. Kill his family. Now you're gaslighting him? Jesus, Trevor. What's next? Here we are. What do you think? So, this is where Floyd is gonna meet us at Strip Club? <laughs> oh, yeah. That gun lied to him. Oh, oh my buddy. god. <laughs> Interestingly, you and me, we got a new home. Where? <laughs> Here! Mm, right here! Here? Mm, here. Now, I know it's unconventional, but that's the way we roll, homie! Hey, you, you two! You two, I want you to give this boy a good time for a long time. Hey, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Tell me where the manager is for this fine establishment. Through there and take two doors to the right. Mm -hmm. There. To the right. Thank you. Literal Sims characters. Prepare to meet your new partner. Hey, Lester. Hey, uh, Trevor just called about the, um, the big one, the, the UD. You know anything? Yeah, I told him we could hit it. You down? Of course I'm down. Look, I'll get my research together and meet you at Trevor's. He's taken over the Vanilla Unicorn Gentlemen's Club. All right, message Franklin. Do not like that. Anyway, oh wait, there's another, no. To darling, I hope you choke on this. Amanda. Well, that's not very nice. Hello. IT guy. What's up, bro? Look, What's I know you still fixing computers for a living. When you gonna throw some work my way? Hey, if you're right for a project, I'll be in touch, okay? Okay, but don't forget about me. Don't forget about me. Trevor's place. Are they talking about the one up here? Or the one down there? They're talking about the club. I don't care. Great. <laughs> oh! Jimmy gave him his car back. Have there been. Oh, yeah! Oh! I dropped your car, car back at the house. Even with my improvements, it's still an old man ride. Don't get down like that but why don't you think i don't know why i'm reading it like that talk it down like that but why but thank me later and why are some what Pourquoi? who was outside the house very confused thank you jimmy for being so nice and dropping my car back how lovely god you said you improved it and i'm first thing i do is damage it well okay don't like what you did with it jimmy won't lie 
God, okay. I can't believe Trevor though. Well, to be honest, I can, because it's Trevor. I'm annoyed at him though, because I quite, I, I felt very bad for Floyd and he just does that and that, that does not sit right with me. Oh, work going on. Did I do that? My driving's so bad. I generally don't know, genuinely don't know if I did that. What is, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I was trying to speak to him, but it didn't allow me to. How do I get in? Where is it? Oh, maybe I have to go through the shoe. <laughs> it sounds very- Oh wait, it's that. Okay. Um, okay. Yep. Okay. You acting like a real sellout. I know. Mr. Want DeSant, to good to see you. The intellectual thug Hi. Victoria. Oh! Damn, private access. If it's possible, I might be coming home immune to booby. I- I feel like I'm gonna get slammed for this music. <laughs> not slammed, but like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I'm allowed to play that music. Also, hey. we'll not be exploring. Before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all Got right. cleaned I up then, did you? Why uh, does that look like Tracy? Ways, the wall. Right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Meriwether, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just gonna live here. I'm gonna run this this good business, showing okay. people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then you know, happy. <laughs> so how'd you come by this place anyway? <laughs> Had it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. Yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago, in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there were other guys, though, too. So, uh, anyway, we, uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. Big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one. What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around two hundred million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But, but it'll be my uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Is this gonna be the Big last one. mission? Like, oh my god! Like, oh no! I feel like this one's a big one. But I know we're getting close to the end now. Wait, I'm sad. We're getting close to the end. Taking the temperature? Yeah, you know, getting a feel for it. Security, exit rods, general vibe. Alright. Hopefully I don't have to deal with the chopper. Cause when do I ever want that to? Look like much. Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas, clap clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it. Man, getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground that's hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we gotta stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. Okay. I'm kind of tempted to switch to Trevor because I want to hear. Hey man, you might not notice it, but the convo between Trevor and Lester. I mean, there's times I think I gotta be the senior partner in the group. From the way you and Trevor behave. Ah, oh, sorry. There's history there. 
Yeah, it still ain't fully been explained to me, though. No? Well, remind me to go over with you again sometime. But not now. Yeah, now's not the best time. Hello. Hey. Oh. Look, dog. Light again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserve? Yeah, huh? Well, maybe we really are broke. Trevor, how are you doing? Uh, well... Ew! I like Ugh. clockwork, Mikey. I like clockwork. Oh, I'm gonna have to deal with the chopper, aren't I? Oh, you little rats! You mentioned a uh, job before. Help you with. I didn't even talk to Mike about it yet, but he's gonna be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Busting Brad out of the clink. Uh... How do you talk to Mike about it? Oh, fine. Shit. I was gonna pay you, man. When there ain't an obvious profit in something, you're a hard guy to motivate. I'm pretty sure Lester knows that Brad's dead. Maybe make side for me. Make room for me. I mean, not side. Go to the side to make room for me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Lester knows. Dude. Just went 13.30. We got two hours before we need to be in Murrieta Heights. I'm pretty sure Lester knows about Brad. I kind of feel bad that Trevor doesn't know. But whatever. I don't honestly care too much about him. Like I, I, I don't know how to explain it. I still, I guess, I, I don't want to say I like the character because I know it's all satire. It's not that big of a deal. Last. Come on. But I don't know. I just, I don't know how I feel about him. Very mixed feelings. smashed into that car. We're mapping the route and finding an ambush point. Stay with them. What kind of ambush spot are we looking for? I tend to wait in the jaw and catch them with their drawers down, but I guess that won't work here. No, it uh, won't. We're looking for somewhere with cover for us and no escape routes for them. Get closer. Ah, the same principle as a men's room. Yeah. Uh, I guess. <laughs> They're too far ahead. What about here for the job? Where? 
some get out, and we'd be compromised if they were driven off the road into the river. We could recover the cars. With the right equipment, we'd haul them up the side. A central station is monitoring the car's position. If the GPS tracker reads it's down there in the channel, we'll have red flags all over the place. Fine! Not them doing a me and getting impatient. I'm I don't like being in close proximity to you for extended periods of time. And the same for short periods of time. Oh, there's ways to make minutes go by. Oh gosh. They're really on the run, aren't they? Did I miss them? Death! Okay, they'll be back out in the open now. It'll have to be a quick turnaround, but you can hijack the trucks in there. Whoops. I'm picking up the cars. Right on time. Hey, it, uh, it looks like we're gonna need some IDs to get in the building this way. I'm assuming that's doable, Les. IDs I can handle. Onion 86 in sight. Stand by. Hey, I was expecting you 30 seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Onion 86 in the building. Now, if I remember from planning the tool store job, they're excavating the new LS Metro tunnel around here. They take us around the building and find the construction site. Roger that! Looking for a big asshole! Search for the construction entrance? I There's don't... big asshole! Hover above it while I record what we need! Hover above so I can shoot down into it! Do you want me to go lower? Now just hover here! Get back to the hole! We don't have everything we need! I'm trying, Lester. It's extremely difficult. That's no good. It's load bearing. Lots of clear space. Hold it. I'm gonna switch to Michael. <laughs> he can deal with the whole plane. Don't feel like dealing with that. Hey, he so how you feeling about that? this? Feeling pretty good. We got Lester planning it. He'll get us options. There's you, a guy I know I can depend on. And then there's Trevor. Ah, yeah, Trevor get it done. And Willie? I hope so, man. I hope he holds it together. Hey, you ain't done too good of a job at that yourself, you feel me? Yeah. Well, I ain't pissed off hillbillies, bikers, a Mexican gang, some Chinese gangsters, and a private army, okay? So there's that. Yeah, but you just pissed off the FIB and oh the IAA, and your family, man. You know what, I met Amanda, and I know who scares me the most. <laughs> point taken. So you gonna tell me about this Brad dude and the deal with the FIB? What happened in North Yankton back in the day anyway? This ain't the time. Man, we're about to go in together on the biggest job ever being pulled. There ain't ever gonna be a better time to fill me in on this shit. It's complicated, all right? Fuck it, I'm gonna ask Trevor. Don't ask Trevor. Shit, man, you sound shady, dawg. Real shady. We'll talk, all right? Just later. It is something that you should probably have, like, a coffee or a meal over. Like, 
It's not something one of the mill that I can just tell you in the car whilst I'm taking you back home. Y you need you need a process it. Also, I feel like you're gonna have a different opinion on me by the end of it, or maybe not. It depends on how much you like Trevor, I guess. But no, he already knows, actually. He just doesn't know about Brad. He knows about everything else. All right, holla him. Hey, when he's got something, Lester will be in touch. <laughs> Mission pass. There we go. Surveying the school. I did nothing. Okay. What's that? That's back at the home. Oh my god. I have to go see it now. Wait. I'm really curious to see what this is. Are they back? I don't know if they're back. Oh, the blood. Okay. Hey, man. Fuck. What do you want? Hi. I'm your friend. I don't want anything, man. Come on, your company's good enough, huh? Is he gonna ask about Same Brad? Yeah. Thanks. I really appreciate. I feel it. like he's gonna ask so, about Brad. Family ain't back yet, huh? <laughs> nope. Oh, she's a goddamn fool, man. <sighs> Despite all the chaos of these last few weeks. I think I finally figured it out. I don't know. Sounds ridiculous. No, actually, it does not sound ridiculous, you know? Because you, you're a killer. You know? You are a man of action. You do not sit on couches. You take scores. You're back, man. We are back. All right? All we got to go do is bust out Brad, and then we're golden, man. Franklin, he makes us multicultural. Lester makes it cyber. We're like modern America. We just get ourselves a gay friend. Bam! No, it's not it. I got money. It just makes you miserable. I want to make movies. Great. It's great. And uh, so where exactly does this leave me in the second act of your life? We're going to do this last big job. And then we're going to dissolve the partnership. This is not a game to me, all right? This is a fucking way of life. I got a fucking family. Yeah, well, I got nothing. No one gives a fuck about me. I do. Oh, fuck you. I saw your grave. I mourned you. You mourned Brad. Out that everything I fucking Same. thought about you was wrong. Everything dead and you're not a man well what the fuck are you i'm your fucking nightmare yeah, enough with your goddamn threats i mean let me just ask you something all right something i've been i've been thinking about up in north yankton exactly who was buried in your place? I never gave it any thought. You know what I'm thinking? I had no clue. You treacherous piece of shit! You're fucking dead. You're fucking dead! Fuck. Trevor! Hey! T! Ah, great. Go to the airport. How? I need a car. Fuck you. Hey, come on. Where are you going? You know where I'm going. Fuck you. You don't need to go all the way to North Yankton to find out what I can tell you over a couple beers back in my house. Come on. We'll order pizza. Fuck you. Fuck your pizza. Fuck everything it stands for. This is insanity. I'm just gonna oh, take no. a plane. No, it's right? clear and reason thought. Finally. Stop your car. Come on. Come back. We'll talk. Oh, I'm not gonna listen to another one of your lies. Hey, I'll lay it all out for you. Everything. Just stop the car. Turn around. 
I'm going up there to see it for myself. You'll be disappointed. <laughs> oh, I'll be something. It'll be an anti-climax. The grave's empty. Just a bag of... <sighs> Shit! I didn't get to finish the phone call. Really Norton. annoying. Shit! Davy! Shit, he knows! I think he knows! What? Who? I think! Shit! Shit, how? I don't know how. He used his head. But does he know? Does he know at all? Hey, he's on his way up to Ludendorff to confirm his suspicions. Shit! Then what? Then who fucking knows what? I don't know. I'm gonna go see if I can reason with him. I come, but I, 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 I... Yeah, don't worry about it. This is between me and him. Besides, if it goes wrong up there, I'm sure you ain't far down his list. That's good to know. Oh, that's really annoying that I got hit, so I got... I didn't get to finish the phone call with Trevor. Hopefully there wasn't much more to it. I'm just gonna, um, find a car. I don't know, I'm kind of torn between taking a taxi, but I'll just take a car. Hey, dudes. Are you joking? This is literally the opposite of what I wanted. I should have just taken a taxi. No, 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 no! Uh. <laughs> Oh my god, the dude underneath the car. God, you guys really aren't trying that hard, are you? Finally. That took a while. Jeez. Can I call a taxi? Hello. Yeah, can you send out a cab to me? No problem. I'll have one there in a couple of minutes. Thank you. Okay, and then before the phone call starts, I'm gonna set the waypoint to there. Then Trevor's gonna call and hopefully we can finish the rest of the conversation. Fuck you! Hey, come on, where are you going? You know where I'm going, fuck you! You don't need to go all the way to North Yankton to find out what I can tell you over a couple beers back in my house. Come on, we'll order pizza. Fuck you! Fuck your pizza, fuck everything it stands for! This is insanity! Oh, no. No, it's clear and reason thought. Finally. Stop your car. Come on. Come back. We'll talk. Oh, I'm not going to listen to another ah. one of your lies. He's creepily staring at me. Everything. Just stop the car. Turn around. I'm going up there to see it for myself. You'll be disappointed. <laughs> oh, I'll be something. It'll be an anti-climax. The grave's empty. Just a bag of Stop staring sand, at me. something like that. Just smoke and mirrors. Oh, the lies! How do you do it, man? The game is up! I'm trying to save you a trip. You've done me enough favors, buddy, all right? Save your fucking breath! Trevor, come on! Fuck you, Michael! Soon enough, I will. Hey, my man, where you going? So basically, Trevor's not happy with us. That's basically what the gameplay is. Okay. Special Agent Norton. Shit. Davy. Shit, he knows. I think he knows. What? Who? I think. Shit. Shit, how? I don't know how. He used his head. But does he know? Does he know at all? Hey, he's on his way up to Ludendorff to confirm his suspicions. Shit. Then what? Then who fucking knows what? I don't know. I'm gonna go see if I can reason with him. I come, but I, 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 I... Yeah, don't worry about it. This is between me and him. Besides, if it goes wrong up there, I'm sure you ain't far down his list. That's good to know. Go to the second level terminal. How do I get to the second level? Why doesn't Trevor just, like, take a chopper or something? <laughs> like, he literally, he owns planes and a helicopter and he decides to take a public train? No, not train, plane. Oh my god. Uh, 
I love how like we're preparing for like this big score and they're like, yeah, let's just go back up north. What was it? I can't remember what it's called. They're like, yeah, let's just do it. Whoa. Listen, Amanda, we're going to move to Los Santos to start over. I made a deal. The slate will be totally wiped clean. Hey, everybody pay attention. No one gets hurt. Trust me, darling. Look at me, Amanda. It was the only thing I could do. Either everyone dies or one guy gets out. I'm that guy. What did he want to happen to Brad? His name is Dave Norton. Nice guy. Realist. He gets the glory. I get out. It's not even a decision. Amanda, I don't have a choice. Do you want to die here where it's always snowing? Or do you want to go and live where it's always sunny? Alright, you want to live? Tell me you want to live. If he's the only guy that's gonna get out, but they were only meant to sh shoot Trevor, Some was Brad always meant to go into like to jail? Trust me, nothing is gonna go wrong. Nothing. Yeah, I hear you. We gotta follow the plan. Everything will work out. I did the deal, Amanda. It's over, baby. We get out. Be happy. Be normal. It ain't supposed to go down like this. We did it. Maybe we are home free. It's over. This is fucked, man. The day is long. Just this one job and everything is done. Everything is done. Everything is done. Catch your grave. Just very casual. Not through there, apparently. Oh. Couldn't have done it in the daytime. Really? Is Trevor here? I don't see him. I do see him. I stand corrected. Trevor. Hey, you're wasting your time. Is that why you flew out here? Huh? Tell me I'm wasting my time. Go ahead, dig it up. I don't give a shit. Yeah, that's what you look like. A guy who doesn't give a shit. That's ridiculous. How long are you gonna keep lying for, Mikey, huh? When's it gonna stop? What happens in the dark comes out in the light. I'll give it a rest, Trevor. <laughs> There's nothing there. <sighs> this is it. Moment of truth. <laughs> Don't show me. I don't want to see. Please don't show. Oh. Oh. As if I didn't know. Brad! Look, we do what we gotta do to survive. This thing, it didn't work out the way it was supposed to. Oh, how was that, huh? With Brad and Tanny, me in the ground, or, 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 or both of us in the coffin? Brad got shot. You saw it. He didn't make it. I got shot, I did. That's... that's it! I think the only thing that didn't go as planned was me showing up on your doorstep ten years later. Mikey, I mourned you. And I missed you. But I got a fucking family, Trevor. We were all gonna die. He did die. You reptilian motherfucker! I didn't How about you? This. Yes, you did! You just don't have the fucking balls to do it! But I do! I got more to lose than you! Never a truer word has been spoken, brother! Now pull the fucking trigger! You ain't got the guts. Take the fucking shot! Who is that? Fuck you! Ah! 
Fuck! Fuck! John Phillips, Mr. Cho has requested a word. Hey, ho, ho, I'm not the guy you're looking for. Hey, how's it been? How's it been? Get the boyfriend. It's not me. <laughs> Am I allowed to shoot them? Pals, Trevor. Stop the man! We'll find us! Bazamba! Where are you, mister? We just don't want to talk. How am I meant to Why not have any oh I have this gun? Hey, you got the wrong guy. No, I'm pretty sure they know who you are, my little babes. Oh, hey, back off! And another man. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. You should have gone after the other guy. It's a bit cold right now, guys. Ah, you want a boyfriend, huh? How many guys you send up here? Jesus. We could have teamed up. Yeah, especially since we both have a mutual hate for Trevor now, I guess. He's getting away. Trevor Phillips Industries. Mr. Phillips, this is Wei Chang. You know my eldest son, Tao. Yeah, the ex-nut. Backed out of a contract we agreed on. How is he? Still learning the ropes, thank you. My friends miss you in North Yankton. I was hoping we could talk. Ah, <laughs> was that your people? Ah, oh, of course. Sorry I had to cut out. Your operation causes problem for me. I want to expand into Blaine County. But your business and your temperament prevent me from making inroads. Oh, well, too bad. I don't know what you can do about that. Trevor. I've already done something. We have your lover. Whoa, 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 whoa. My lover? Michael DeSanta. You live in your trailer together with the maid. And then you were alone in that big house. Well, you're clearly very close. You know, how much will you give up for his safety? 
<laughs> My lover! Yeah, right! It's a tough break. I never want to double-cross a friend and put him in danger, but you gotta do what you gotta do. My business ain't going anywhere. I'm serious about this. He will die. Tell him I love him dearly. Is he really not gonna go save him? I'm not surprised to be fair. He's probably pretty mad. He is pretty mad at him right now. Which I mean, fair enough if you find out that like, your friend wanted you dead. <laughs> uh, crazy man, meet me at the crib. Me and Frank go and roll on the last car for the rich dude you in. Really annoying that I missed that turning, but it's okay. No, up. I, I'm pressing L1. Why aren't you Are you joking? For God's sake. <laughs> okay. All right, yeah, yeah, no, of course, man. That's a, that's a tough break. Uh, look, you guys deserve each other. Hold on to that fat traitor. And feel free to torture him to your heart's content. He'll save me the trouble. I love how the, the dialogue changes each time you die. That's really interesting. How are we gonna save Michael? Michael's really just going through it. I sort of feel bad for him. No, what? No. You know what? This is what you can get for that. <laughs> so I'm not gonna land it. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was a pain. I was not about to sit through that again. I'm sorry. No way in hell was I about to sit through that again. Okay. Let's look at the list. So we have a Devon mission of celebrity sighting. Oh no, celebrity item. Sorry, not celebrity sighting. Okay, well, I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to leave that there for today's part of Grand Theft Auto V. That was a lot. We kind of sort of planned out the really big heist mission. Michael has been kidnapped. Trevor does not care. Trevor has found out the truth. Trevor does not care about Michael anymore, I guess. It's really sad though. Like that scene was really, really sad. And it's like, cause you can tell they care for each other, but Michael, I don't know if Trevor can necessarily understand it because he doesn't have one. I mean, I guess he kind of viewed Michael as his family, like his brother, not his lover. But Michael really did kind of, I don't know. I think in that situation, he was definitely thinking, what do I have to do best for my family to survive this? For my family to be okay, for me and my family to be okay. Like if it means having to sacrifice Trevor, then I will do such thing if it means my family is okay. And so you can tell he really does care about his family and he does care about Franklin. I, I'm I'm still kind of struggling to get how he feels about Trevor. I still don't really know. You know he cares about him but I think Trevor was also a part of his life that he wants to forget and he doesn't really want- he doesn't want this life. At least that's kind of what I'm gathering. Like he doesn't want to be this type of guy. He just wants to be like good with his family and okay. But honestly we found out well, Trevor found out about Brad a lot sooner than I thought he would, but... Ooh, and he kind of took it better than I thought he would. Not gonna lie, but I'm gonna leave it there for today's part. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully I will see you in the next part of Grand Theft Auto V. Okay, bye!